This is the second of four videos about Visual Basic Coding in Excel. This series is going to take you from a very low knowledge base to knowing the basics and being able to approach some basic coding tasks with confidence. So let's get straight into it. In the first video, we looked at uh, creating buttons and creating a simple macro, attaching the macro to that button and getting the macro to trigger when you press the button. So as you can see, we press the button and the, the message box comes up, which is great. In this next video, we're going to think about changing cell values using Visual Basic and how we can do that. In this um, situation, I want to change the value of cell E3 just here. I want to make it higher or make it lower using buttons. You can see I have one button here and I want to create one more button in order to do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, hold down the control key and select this button and just copy it down here. Then I'm going to use the alt key, which I always use to line up buttons nicely and just slot it in uh, below the higher button. So those buttons are nicely lined up, which improves the presentation of our spreadsheet, which is always important. So I'm going to edit the text on this button to change it to lower. And then I'm going to go into Visual Basic and actually create the code we need to make these buttons work. Okay, so I'll do that again for you in the developer tab. And if you can't see the developer tab, go back to the first video in this series and you'll be able to see how to get it. In the, de in the developer tab, we go to uh, the Visual Basic icon and that will take us into the Visual Basic editor. And here we can see the code we used in the first exercise. So that code is fine, but we need some more code. So we're going to create a new module and then we're going to um, create a routine here. So when we create a routine, uh, we always uh, start with sub. That's telling Visual Basic that we're starting a new routine. And then we give the routine a name. Now, it's important for the name of the routine to be informative, for the name of the routine to relate to what the routine actually does. Um, because later on, you might have 50 or 100 routines in the same file and it becomes more and more difficult to understand what they're doing. So let's call it lower. And now we need the code to adjust the value of the cell and to bring it down by one. Now, the way we express that in Visual Basic is to use the term range, which uh, usually refers to a cell, and then open brackets, and then speech marks, and the range that we are referring to, which in this case is E3, and dot value. So in layman's terms, in normal language, this means uh, the value of what is in cell E3. And then we're going to put an equal sign in, and then we're going to use the same code again. So an important coding principle is where possible to copy and paste existing code and tweak it. So I'm just going to copy and paste the code acro across, and then I'm going to put minus one. Now this is um, a structuring code that you'll see a lot. Um, one range equals the same range plus one. This is going to make the value in the cell one higher, okay? Or uh, one lower, rather. Okay, so while we're, while we're at it, let's also create the sub to help us, um, that's going to increase the value of the cell. So again, coding principles, we always copy and paste existing code where we can. So I'm going to select this whole sub, control C to copy, move my cursor to the end of the sub, come down a couple of lines and control V. So now we have the code repeated. It's not gonna work at the moment, however. What do you think the problem is here? Well, as you can see, we have two routines of the same name and Excel isn't going to like that. So for the routine where we are making the value of the cell higher, we're just gonna go in and call it higher. And we're gonna make one small adjustment. We're gonna change the subtraction sign, which is reducing the value to a to an addition sign like this, okay? So now we have um, two routines and this should help us do what we're trying to do, which is to adjust the value of the cell up and down. So now we're ready to go back into Excel and I wonder if you can remember how we assign routines to buttons. We do this by right-clicking on the button and going to assign macro. Excel then gives us a list of the macros that are available and we should be familiar with all these names. Say hello was the 
uh, macro from the first exercise, and we just created the higher and lower macros. So this is the higher button, so I'm going to go for the higher macro. And this is the lower button, so I'm going to go for the uh, lower macro there. So that means when I click the button, Excel will go to Visual Basic, find the lower routine, and execute that routine. Okay, so now's the moment of truth, the exciting moment. We'll see if the code actually works. So I'm just going to click on the higher button, and that seems to be working well. The value of the cell is increasing by one. And let's do the same thing with the lower button. That also seems to be well, uh, working well. The value of the cell is decreasing by one. So it's very important in this situation where code's working for you to celebrate. So certainly uh, punch the air. Uh, make sure you don't punch your dog or your cat or your boyfriend or your girlfriend, but definitely celebrate because there will be a lot of frustration down the line. But this is an excellent start if you can do this. Okay, so this is the second of four videos on basic visual, basic coding for Excel. Uh, we, already we've talked about creating buttons and assigning macros to those buttons. We've now talked about adjusting values in cells. Next, we're going to talk about offset and positioning. Sounds interesting. I'll see you there.